Ronnie and Nancy, it was truly an American love story. I can't imagine marriage being any other way but the way that Ronnie's and mine was. Born Anne Frances Robbins in New York City, she lived and grew up in Chicago. As an adult, she headed west to Hollywood to become an actress. One of her last screen appearances was playing opposite her future husband. Soon after, they wed. Nancy was always gazing at him with that loving stare. Now, I congratulate you, sir. I don't remember thinking anything except that, my gosh, here he is and he's president. Nancy Reagan's signature was appearing in designer gowns. She battled breast cancer and survived. She also used her influence to launch an anti-drug program, which was reduced to a simple phrase, just say no. I didn't mean that that was the whole answer, obviously, but it did serve a purpose. After she and her husband left Washington, Ronald Reagan was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. It's sad to see somebody you love and um, have been married for so long, and you can't share memories. Do you ever feel that fate treated you badly? No, uh-uh. No, when you, when, when you balance it all out, I've had a pretty fabulous life.